Hey, hey. This week, we are going to talk about being strung out, being unrested, being tired. Because here's my question for you this week. Do you ever feel like there is too much going on? Right? So think about... Uh, so we'll think about this in chunks as far as life goes and things and distractions and stuff like that go. So if you ever feel like you're totally bombarded with like urgent emails and texts, do you ever feel like there's an endless a string of push notifications on your phone? Do you feel like if you have Slack for work that it's just constantly dinging with notifications about things that you got to do or think about your social media notifications is it just like bing 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 all the time and all the time your phone is just going off with some kind of different app letting you know that something urgent is waiting for you uh, have you ever noticed if you don't use social media for a while it gets really desperate it starts giving you all kinds of random notifications it's like please use me uh, right but that's what they're built to do is keep you tied in and that's just your phone right i mean think about it i mean what about work I mean, I know a lot of people that work jobs where they feel like there's never enough time, right? They get done at the end of the day and it's like, I could stay here till midnight or I could work weekends. And some of us do, right? Some of us do regularly. We do that. We just never stop working, right? So, and then there's that kids. Say, say you got kids, right? Kids are a huge blessing, right? But wow, are they time consuming, Right. I mean, they're like, they always like they need something or they need to go somewhere or there's like the, you know, I need to mold this person into a responsible human functioning adult. Yikes. Right. Like that's, that's pressure. Like kids are awesome, but man, it's like, you know, none of us are ever prepared for that. Even if we had the best models ever in, in our parents, perhaps it's like every kid is their own, you know, or then there's just like juggling life. You know, so it could be phones, it could be your job, it could be kids, or it could just be like just the responsibilities of life. You know, you're handling finances, you're trying to get your you know stuff done, yourself to places, things that you've got responsibilities, demands of all kinds around us. And, you know, just emotionally and physically, we just feel like oh, there's not enough, right? There's not enough to go around. So my question is, um, in light of all that, for a lot of people... Um, what happens when you have downtime? Like, what do you do with your downtime? Do you like, do you go immediately to YouTube or streaming TV or video games or, you know, like how quickly, <laughs> and I've asked this question of myself a lot and other people, but how quickly have you gone to your phone in your pocket when you're standing in line waiting for anything? You get up and go to the bathroom. Do you leave your phone? Like you're walking somewhere, you have any second available to you at all, how quick are you to pull your phone out and just mindlessly look at it, right? These are the kinds of things I'm talking about. Like we don't give our poor brains a chance to rest. We don't do that well. A lot of us are, even if we're not really actually busy, like if we're not that stage of life, we fill our spare time, our downtime with things that in no way bring us rest right? They are not rejuvenating at all. We, we spend our time with people that suck the life out of us, or we spend our time in front of a screen, which study after study shows messes with our brains and like kicks everything into overdrive. That's why you shouldn't watch a screen before you go to bed because it makes your brain like come alive. And then we don't sleep well. And we're like, oh man, why don't I feel rested when I wake up? Right? But we're, we are just strung out. I know so many people who are just strung out on, on an overload of information, an overload of entertainment, and most of us don't have any idea how to find any sanity. And it's like, yikes, right? It's like, what do we do? Well, let me share you. The reason I wanted to do this, this podcast today was because I wanted to share with you something I honestly feel like God showed me over the last few weeks. All right, so let me rewind like a year or two or so ish. Um, I really begin to be burdened and convicted that I don't do downtime well. You know, like I just always kind of wrote it off like, oh, I just don't rest well. I can't take naps. Like, uh, you know, I, I always feel guilty when I'm, you know, not doing anything. And I noticed it way back in college when I would have downtime and I would feel so guilty. I would not be able to rest because I was like, I got to get my homework done. I got to get this done. I got to get that done. And I always felt like 
I don't know. I felt, I just felt guilty, I guess, for my downtime. And so I just kind of assumed, oh, that's how I am. I'm just an active person, not realizing that I had convinced myself that it was okay not to rest, right? Like to never give myself permission to have any downtime. And when I did, again, it was like, what was I doing? Not necessarily always things that were really bringing any kind of rest. So again, kind of going up to the last year or two, I began to realize, wow, this is really unhealthy and I can't sustain this. I can't keep doing this to myself. So Lord, help me. I don't rest well. I don't take time out to pray well because I like just sitting there makes me feel anxious. And so I really began to pray about that and I would like, I would make some gains in it and I would do well and then I would like do terrible. And then I, you know, I just, uh, I felt like I would never make time for like just downtime or for kind of like those quiet moments of worship and uh, or just appreciation, you know, like just smelling the roses, so to speak. And then I really began to see a little bit of shift, right? Like being busy is okay, but understanding that I have to take better rhythms during my day to to have what I what I heard in a podcast and read in a book called White Space, right? This is kind of like a a creative idea about it, about taking time where your brain isn't really focused on anything, right? Where you're like literally just like, like pushing everything out and just letting your brain just relax for like five minutes, 10 minutes. And I was like, you know, and then especially doing that for creative, like, you know, what's in the future? What's coming? Like, how do I plan for the future? How do I think about the future? Well, I got to let my mind stop. So it's not always trying to solve some problem or do something. It's not always being entertained by a device. And so the more I saw that happen, the more I began to just be able to rest better. Like, And then the more intentional I was about my time off and saying, no, I'm going to rest. I'm going to take time and I'm going to do nothing, right? I'm, I'm going to be totally okay with just going for a hike. I'm going to be totally okay with just every now and then and just vegging out in front of the TV. Not, not all the time, but again, like being okay with that kind of stuff. And in realizing that I can have busy seasons of my life, but I can't let that turn into the pace of my life because that's what we do sometimes, you know, like we let that season become a lifestyle. And I know a lot of people that do that. And so what I realized then, okay, like, so now I'm, I'm starting to get a little bit better. And then th three weeks ago, I went on, on a mission trip, kind of, I was a speaker um, for the week at a mission trip. And while I was there, I really let myself rest. I did. I would do everything I needed to do for the first half of the day. And then I was just kind of on my own for the afternoon until evening. And I would just rest. I would go upstairs and I really worried about this because I thought, man, I'm never going to be, I'm going to be like a nervous wreck because I'm not going to have anything to do all afternoon. <clears throat> but then I did. I just, I rested. I would go and I would lay on, I was, I was staying on my air mattress for the week. That's how you, you sleep up the mission trip. And I would just lay there and read or I would go on a walk or, or a run around town or I would just like do nothing. And I realized like, yeah, I, I'm getting to the point where I can do this. Like I, I can build intentional time in, like actually schedule relaxed time and then allow myself to be okay with that relaxed time because I'm not wasting time. I'm taking down time. And then I was able to go on a vacation last week and that was awesome because I went into that having a much better pace normally in my life. And I was actually able to relax on that vacation. Like, I mean, like probably better than I ever have because it didn't take me three days to unwind from work. Right. And then you got like 20 minutes in the middle of the vacation where you can relax. And then you're like back to thinking about what's next. I didn't do that going in and I didn't do that coming out. <clears throat> I realized that the problems and the things that I needed to take care of when I got back, they'd be there for me when I got back. And I would take that there, uh, you know, at that time I would take that on, but on vacation, I was able to slide into it. And then I was able toward the end of that vacation, I did start thinking about some work things and, but I did it in a much different way. I didn't get all anxious about it. I just said, Lord, I know these are some things I got to do. I'm going to pray over these things. I'll think about them. I jotted down some notes, you know, to kind of, kind of just get those thoughts out of me. So I wasn't trying to remember them. And I felt like I went into that time and out of that time way better because I honestly believe that God showed me, hey, see this different pace, see this different way of doing this. And that's why I wanted to share that this week because it was just so fresh for me. It's like I was able to rest 
because I honestly believe God has been working on me on having not a balanced life, but just understanding I needed to be intentional about my downtime. I need to be intentional about even my on time. Like I said, because your how you spend your time off isn't necessarily as important as how you spend your time on. All right, so let me say that again so we don't miss it. How you spend your time off isn't necessarily as important as how you spend your time on. Okay, because if you're always running at an unsustainable pace, any time off you have won't restore you. And that's whether it's an afternoon or it's an evening or it's a weekend or if you do get to go on a vacation, right? Like, because you're going to be so stressed out and then you're going to be stressed out from getting ready for that vacation that it's going to take you that vacation to, like to unwind. And then now all of a sudden it's back to work, right? That's why so many people, they come back and they're not rested. Because I honestly believe that God didn't intend for us just to have like a weekend or, you know, like just like one time a year. I think when God talks about Sabbath rest, he's like regular rhythms all the time. In the Old Testament, certainly in the Bible, it was one day a week where, man, everything stops. So there was that rhythm. But then there was also that rhythm, like King David said in Psalm 1, read Psalm 1. He takes time in the morning and in the evening, right? Deuteronomy 6 with your family, taking regular times just to kind of have these spiritual moments. Like God's like, hey, you need regular rhythm of rest. You need regular time with me. So if you're running at an unsustainable pace all the time, man, finding rest and finding downtime is going to be really difficult for you. And I, want you, I do want you to think about the time that you have off, right? Like, what do you do to unwind? Or even have you been able to unwind in your evenings, afternoon, weekend, vacation? Are you even able to unwind? And then what do you do if you can't? Do you just binge watch something? Do you mindlessly play hours of video games? Do you turn to drugs? Do you turn to alcohol? So your time on incredibly important the pace of your life is it is it just a busy season or have you let it become a lifestyle and then your time off should be things that are filling you up right you should be taking regular time off during your day like in those white space times just to let your brain rest and then the things that you do for your downtime you should be trying to be intentional about creating things that that fill you up so let me start first just in your day Again, about that five-minute pause, like you could go, it could be things like, example, going to the bathroom, right? Using that as a reason to, to break whatever you're in up and use that time to clear your head as you go. Pray. Talk to Jesus. If you're a follower of Jesus, man, bring him into that bathroom break. You know what I'm saying? Instead of your phone, bring Jesus, right, and talk to him. And then, or how about like just taking time, um, maybe what in the middle of whatever you're doing, right? Just to take time to pray a little bit while you're doing it. Let your heart settle. You could just get out and go on a walk five or 10 minutes if you're able during your day. You go fishing for something longer than that. Or how about this? Like a lot of us are uh, working from home now. So you can go outside and see the scenery. You can go outside and just soak it up. You can sit in front of a window and soak it up. But if you're still commuting, uh, if you're one of those poor suckers still, and you have to actually go to work, then how about planning an extra five or 10 minutes on your way or on the way home? And and like just pulling off somewhere. Like have you ever been like, oh man, that's such a pretty view, but you've never stopped. Why not just stop? Why not make the time? Why not? not let's not even say make because it's already been made. Why don't you take the time and do that? right? Like we have just, again, it's about intentional, but I, I, it's about saying I'm actually going to build some rhythms in my life or I'm actually resting. But here's the thing. What if you're like a, a busy mom, right? And you got little kids and they're always like, mom, I need everything. Right. And you're in that phase of life. And it's just like, well, how am I supposed to get downtime when they go to bed? It could be right. And, and think about like, how are you restoring yourself during that? Like those evening hours, but even then it could still be busy getting ready for the next day. And it's just like, then I'm just like, and I put them to bed and then I'm trying to get ready for the next day. And then I pass out at 11 o'clock or midnight. And I was like, okay, so that's definitely a season type of a thing. But do you have anybody in your life where you can be like, Hey, I need a 30 minute break. I need a 60 minute break. I'm at home all the time with these kiddos 
and I need a break. Like that takes some like humility. It takes some intentionality. It takes some vulnerability to just be like, hey, I am a mom. I am a dad that's home with my kids all the time and I need a break, right? So just thinking about your own story, your own situation. I mean, there's a million other scenarios, but how are you taking time to really say, all right, my time on is just as important as my time off because I'm not going to be able to enjoy my time off if I am just strung out all the time on my time on. It's a valuable lesson I learned from another leader, actually another several leaders, and one, like I said, over the last year or so, I've been really trying to implement, and I finally saw the fruition of that on this last uh, trip that I got to take where I really felt like, hey, I did rest. And here's another idea for just like during the day. Um, there's an app I, I'd love for you to look up. It's called Pause. Uh, it's by John Eldridge, and you and it's like I think on uh, Apple it's like a white square, and it's got two little black lines like the pause. And I'm not sure if if you're an Android user what that looks like, but probably pretty similar. And it's got guided prayers in there, and I really like it. It's got like a one minute prayer, a three minute prayer, five, ten, fifteen, something like that. I don't use the longer ones much, but I use the shorter ones and I love it because it's like, he makes you slow down. He makes you like really like try to clear your mind and then just say these prayers that man, like are just so cool. And they're the same prayer. Every time I listen to the one minute or three minute or the five minute, same prayer, but it's just like, Lord, I give you everyone and everything. And he's just really slow and really intentional. So man, that's, that's a suggestion I would have too, is something you can do to just like give your mind, give your soul that little bit of rest. But remember in the Bible, God puts a huge, huge premium on rest for us. Even Jesus in the New Testament would break away when things got crazy and he would rest and he would be alone. That's Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So also think about how you start your day. Do you like immediately wake up to craziness and like insanity um, is there any way for you? And I don't know. And there may not be right now if you're in like one of those seasons, but can you get up 10 minutes early, like before the kids? And sometimes like, I don't know, my kids wake up like 5 a.m. It's like, okay. But what if you gave yourself 10 minutes before they got up just to get yourself going, right? Just to give yourself a few minutes of prayer and quiet. Like, would that make a difference? Or if you're at a stage of life where you can get up earlier, go on a walk, Right. Like, again, just how are you being intentional about those early moments of your day? And I know this this stage of life can dictate a lot of this, but what I'm just asking you to consider is how can you be intentional of of doing some like regular rest throughout your day and then like do some restorative things that actually like do bring you rest, you know, restorative people, restorative activities, downtime, no screens, like just things like that, right? And how, how are you doing personally with that? So here's what I want you to hear again. How you spend your time off isn't necessarily as important as as how you spend your time on. Your rhythm of life, um, your rhythm of life, right? Taking a look at that, thinking about that, being intentional about the pace of your life, and then like actually taking some like real intentional steps with your downtime is going to go a long way to restoring you. And I think bringing that peace that, that God, I believe, has all over the Bible, right? That, that just that peace, that restoration that he desires for us, right? That Eden that he desires for us. Cause that's what Eden was. It's just that perfect rest, perfect rest, restoration, perfect relationship. Uh, That's what we see there. So I'll leave you with this question. Are you in any way, like finding ways to turn your brain off from your responsibilities and just giving yourself some little rest points during your day? have better rhythms of that during your day and then doing those things in the afternoon evening weekends like just building some kind of regular rhythm of rest and restoration into your life because i honestly believe that is what god wants for us is us to have that kind of rhythm again not just a balance because sometimes it's going to be crazy but having a rhythm of rest and restoration that centers around him right so what are you doing i'll leave that with you how are you doing with that and what are you doing to make sure that you've got that right rhythm? All right. That's all I've got today. Uh, I hope this was good for you, man. It was, uh, it was a huge blessing for me to like see that this last week. And it was almost like God was like, see, did you notice how this was different? And so I really wanted to share this today and I, and I hope it was a blessing for you. If you, if it is like it, share it, it helps us again, get the message of, of who Jesus is and what he's about. 
out to people. Um, that's what we're trying to do with these. So uh, we very much appreciate it. And it helps us out with our mission of, of just loving people uh, here and all over the place because that's the cool thing about technology. Um, but if you got any questions, comments, man, go ahead and leave them. We'd love to hear from people. Uh, a lot of the things I talk about are experiential, either things I'm doing, I'm reading, conversations I'm having with people. So uh, we love it. We invite you to go ahead and comment and uh, share your ideas with us. All right. So until next time, God bless you and find ways to rest.